After 15 long months, the wait is over. Who will face criminal charges for the deadly shooting on the Rust film set near Santa Fe? One of Hollywood's most famous leading men held a gun during a rehearsal, not knowing at least one live round was in the chamber. The gun went off. Helena Hutchins, the production's lead cinematographer, was hit and killed. Now Alec Baldwin is just one of three people facing charges in New Mexico. He was actually the producer on this film. He was present on scene. Um, he's an actor who's probably starred in 40 plus gun movies, so it's very familiar. Tonight on KOB 4 at 5, how prosecutors came to their decision, what Baldwin and others charged are saying, and what comes next. And this big bombshell from Santa Fe to Hollywood, Santa Fe District Attorney Mary Carmack Altuis announced her office will file criminal charges in the Rust film set shooting. They include involuntary manslaughter charges against star and producer Alec Baldwin and the film's armorer, Hannah Gutierrez Reed. A third charge against assistant director Dave Halls has resulted in a plea deal. KOB4 investigator Matt Grubbs talked to the Santa Fe County DA today about this decision. Matt, what did she have to say? Well, Mary Carmack Altwees said that after reviewing the case for three months, she's convinced it's an accident, but one that went criminally wrong. The DA's view of the case, and it's one that's shared by Special Prosecutor Andrea Reeb, is that Hannah Gutierrez Reed, the show's armorer, Alec Baldwin, and Assistant Director Dave Halls, they could have stopped it from happening, and they should have. Gutierrez Reed and Baldwin, as you mentioned, face charges of involuntary manslaughter and an alternative charge of involuntary manslaughter in the commission of a lawful act. Basically, that means it's legal to fire a gun on a movie set. Attorneys for both those uh, defendants have criticized the decision. Well, some of the DA's initial comments today, they focused on Baldwin having the gun during the shooting, but when we spoke to her this afternoon, she said that it's not just his role on camera that's behind the charges. Certainly as the actor, that's why he was holding the gun, pointed the gun, and, and shot and shot the gun. But as a producer, he should have known or he knew that there were unsafe conditions on the set. He should have known or he knew that the armor was not in the church when the shooting happened, uh, that there was not a safety meeting earlier in the day to talk about the shooting that was going to happen. How's it going, sir? Deputy LaFleur. Um, how many people were in the room at this, at this Three time? people in the case are facing charges since prosecutors did reach that plea deal with Assistant Director Dave Halls. He pleads guilty to negligent use of a deadly weapon. Prosecutors actually praised his cooperation. Remember how hard he was to get a hold of initially after the shooting. And they said he will testify about what happened on set. And in fact, to that end, Carmack Altwees told us this afternoon she is not convinced the Dave Halls shouted cold gun story that we've all heard happened as we've heard it. He definitely picked it up earlier in the day, uh, but he, is, he, he denies and we have conflicting testimony about whether he actually picked up the gun and handed it to Alec Baldwin. So the terms of that plea deal uh, for Dave Halls include six months probation and a suspended sentence. As for Hannah Gutierrez-Reed and Alec Baldwin, they could face 18 months in prison and $5,000. That is a standard uh, sentence for a fourth degree felony. But interestingly, we talked about those alternative charges. That second charge, the one of involuntary manslaughter in the commission of a lawful act, that carries a firearm enhancement that is mandatory five years. So which one one of those that a judge sentences on, a judge could only sentence on one of them, that will really matter. We're live in Santa Fe. Back to you. All right, Matt, thank you so much. So many more updates to come. And while we're not hearing from those involved themselves, we are hearing from their attorneys tonight. Tamara Lopez joins us with what they had to say after today's announcement. Tamara. Julie, the three main players here, Al actor Alec Baldwin, armor Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, and assistant director Dave Halls have all released statements through their attorneys. For Baldwin and Gutierrez-Reed, the tone is they are fighting these charges. This decision distorts Helena Hutchins' tragic death. That's what actor Alec Baldwin's attorney said in a statement reacting to the news of charges announced against Baldwin and armor Hannah Gutierrez-Reed. Both will be charged with involuntary manslaughter. Baldwin's attorney, Luke Nikas of Quinn Emanuel, also said the charges represent a terrible miscarriage of justice. Adding, quote, Mr. Baldwin had no reason to believe there was a live bullet in the gun, and Baldwin relied on professionals who assured him the gun did not have live rounds. 
which is something Baldwin explained to investigators. They were standing in positions they wouldn't ordinarily be in, but they assumed it was an empty, cold gun. Turn and cock the gun over here. I turn and cock the gun. The gun goes off. Well, bang, it goes off. She hits the ground. She goes down. I'm the armor. Or at least I was. We also heard from armor Hannah Gutierrez Reed's attorney today. I check the gun and I load the gun and uh, I hand the guns off to the actor. In a statement, her attorney Jason Bowles of Bowles Law Firm said, quote, Hannah is and has always been very emotional and sad about this tragic accident. Also saying she did not commit involuntary manslaughter and these charges are the result of a very flawed investigation and an inaccurate understanding of the full facts. Adding, quote, they intend to bring the full justice to light and believe Hannah will be exonerated. Now, the assistant director on the Rust movie, Dave Halls, took a plea deal on the charge of negligent use of a deadly weapon. In a statement today, his attorney, Lisa Taraco, said, quote, her client is still grieving the incident and that Halls accepted a petty misdemeanor charge. Taraco says Halls took the plea deal to, quote, put this matter behind him and allow the focus to be on the shooting victims. According to his attorney, Halls will serve no jail time or probation and will pay a $500 fine. And in closing, Baldwin's attorney said, quote, we will fight these charges and we will win. Now we're also hearing from reps from the family of Helena Hutchins. They thanked the Santa Fe Sheriff's Office and the DA for the investigation and said in part, quote, our independent investigation also supports that changes are warranted. It is a comfort to the family that in New Mexico, no one is above the law and we support the cha charges. We'll fully cooperate with this pros prosecution and fervently hope the justice system works to protect the public and hold accountable those who break the law. And as for Dave Hall's official plea deal, it still has not been filed with Santa Fe District Court just yet, but that could happen in the coming days. Tessa. All right, Tamar, thank you. And the decision to charge Alec Baldwin came as a shock to a lot of people today. And now there's this new question that Matt brought up just a few minutes ago. Did Assistant Director Dave Halls say cold gun before handing that firearm to Baldwin during the rehearsal? Ryan Laughlin spoke with a Los Angeles defense attorney who has been following this case very closely. So Ryan, she's providing some insight not only on the legal side of things, but also offered some ideas about, you know, what is really going on behind the scenes at this point. Absolutely. For example, she says we know there's been private negotiations going on. We know that because Dave Halls took a plea deal, a misdemeanor for mishandling that gun. But there is no deal for Baldwin and Gutierrez Reed, both now facing involuntary manslaughter charges, but securing a guilty verdict might be difficult. I am a bit surprised that Alec Baldwin was charged. Rachel Fizet is a LA based defense attorney and very familiar with the Rust shooting tragedy. Being that it's the movie business, you know, we do a lot of that out here. She says charging Alec Baldwin and Hannah Gutierrez Reed signify something specific. The prosecutor has decided to focus on the incident itself and how the actual incident took place instead of overall safety concerns that were on the set, of which I believe there were plenty. With what we know about the evidence, Fizet says, that might be difficult. In most crimes, you have to show intent. In involuntary manslaughter, you don't have to show intent. So no one is disputing that Alec Baldwin did not mean for this to happen. But now they're going to say your conduct was consciously disregarding human life. The way you acted was so grossly negligent that it rises to a crime. And then there's... What is your phone name? Gutierrez Reed, the armorer, was in charge of the guns on set. So I think the case against her is a bit different. She was in that, you know, prior to the incident, exact time in the line of handling the gun, which is why I think she's in peril. But her defense looks like nobody was listening to me. I am young. I was underpaid. I raised red flags and nobody was listening to me. So Fizet says she expects this case to go to trial because she cannot imagine Baldwin admitting to any crime. She also suspects there is key evidence we have not yet seen on Alec Baldwin's phone. We take a closer look at that part of this case tonight at 6. Guys?
All right, Ryan, again, so much more to uncover here. Thank you. One big question was around the future of the production of the movie itself. Last year, the Rust team announced plans to complete the film. A report from Variety pointed to filming resuming early this year, most likely in California, with no mention of the crew and or cast returning to the land of enchantment. Now, with serious charges brought against the production team and the star of the movie, no word yet on whether these plans will change. There is so much to process. Us today with those charges dropping and the fallout from all sides of the Rust production. You can catch up on all of our coverage, not just today, but throughout this saga at KOB.com.